Well, uh, I come from a, a little town in Virginia called Freeze, Virginia. It's about 600 people live there. And that's a, that's a pretty good sized town for our part of the country. But anyways, it's spelled F-R-I-E-S. It's a German pronunciation. We call it freeze in the winter and fries in the summer. There's quite a few good musicians come from Freeze that did a lot of early recording back in the 1920s. Henry Whitter and Pop Stoneman all worked in the cotton mill. And uh, a good tradition of songwriting there. And I wrote a few songs and most of the ones that I write are of a more serious nature. This is not one of them. Uh, when I was about 15 years old, uh, I decided I needed some money in the summertime there while I was out of school. And, you know, they hadn't invented allowance yet at that time. And uh, so I decided I'd go over and get me a job where my mother worked uh, over in Galax, Virginia, in the furniture factory. And I figured, you know, if Mama could do it, I could too. So. I went over and got me a job and found out that Mama was a little bit tougher than I thought she was. And I wrote this song here called The Furniture Factory Blues. When I was just a young lad, foot loose and fancy free, well, I went down and I went to work in the furniture factory. I got the blues. Well, they put me to glue in blocks, and I said, this is a piece of pie. Forty-five thousand later, Lordy, I thought I was gonna die. I had the blues, the furniture factory blues. When I went to work that morning, well, the temperature was nice. By that afternoon, oh Lord, you could boil a pot of rice. I had the blues, the furniture factory blues. Play it, Kurt. got home that night, I put my feet down in a tub. Well, I got out the liniment and I began to rub my head the blues, the furniture factory blues. Well, if you're young and fancy free, let me give you some advice. You better get your education, don't you let or you'll have the blues, the furniture factory blues. 